Yo guys, what's up? In this video, I'll be talking about my experience on playing Escape from Targa for the first time. DJ, let's roll the intro. So the first thing I did when getting into Escape from Taco was going straight into the hideout. My reason for this was because I didn't want to just jump straight into a game, I had no idea what this was about, so hopefully the hideout would teach me something. It turned out that I literally had no idea what the hideout was about, so I just ended up buying every single thing I could that was available, and I have no idea if that's what I was supposed to do or not, but hey, now I got it. <laughs> When I finally got done buying everything in the hideout, I got some confidence to play the actual game. I decided that I would play as a scav because I heard that you don't lose your items when you play scav, and therefore I thought that was a good way to practice. What I didn't know is that you had to exit to keep the stuff with the scav. I thought you just went into play and that was it. I didn't know you could actually get the stuff out of the game that you got from scav. But I, I found out later on. And as you probably know, my first game is the game where you just spend all of the time adjusting mouse sensitivity and keybinds. But I do actually want to show you the second game because I think that went really interesting. Oh my god, there's a lot of people here. Fuck this guy! Holy shit, man! I got an AK! Let's go, baby! How many people are there? No! I had so much stuff! I did! <laughs> I had an AK. As you can see, I did really well in my pretty much first game. But I think that's just beginner's luck. Because from there on, I just started dying over and over and over right off the spawn. And this is where I went into my first problem with Escape from Tarkov. So what I really don't like is that every time you die, or every time your scav dies, you have to wait 20 minutes for it to come back up. So... That resulted in me playing for like around 30 seconds, then waiting 20 minutes to play another 30 seconds to wait 20 minutes. And this became really frustrating to me because I didn't know what to do in the meantime. So I started playing other games in between while waiting for my Tarkov characters to come back up. Which just felt really weird because I wanted to play Tarkov but my characters were down so I wasn't able to. One of my friends back joined in later and taught me about the multiplayer. I didn't even know that you could queue up with friends in this game, so this opened a whole lot of new opportunities for me. I was really excited that you were actually able to play with people because I was so sure that this game was like you queue up alone and then you, you know, you 1v1 people in the map. But apparently you can play with people, so I got really excited about that. Back also told me that I should start googling the maps I'm playing and I was really confused about this because I hate like googling what I have to do in a game. I like experiencing and I realized really quick that this was impossible for me and I had to google the map. Personally, I'm not really a big fan of the fact that I have to google something and I wish that the maps would just be a thing you could pull up in your character instead of having to google it, google it because I feel like for any new player it would be impossible to find the exit, exit safe points without googling the map and even with googling the map I had a lot of struggles finding myself so I feel like you should have a map on you in game no matter what so you're able to find the exit points without googling personally I also really enjoyed the multiplayer version a lot so I'll definitely be playing with more people then I'll be playing solo. One of the things I learned later on by watching a few tutorials on YouTube is that there was a practice mode. So when my characters are down, instead of playing another game waiting for my actual scaf and main characters to get back up, I could play practice versus AIs. And AIs in this game is not like in any other game. They they seem pretty good, at least if you ask me. I actually had a difficult time 
playing versus them and maybe that's just because i started but just in general they they were killing me in the actual games as well so i find i found this really useful especially for aiming because i was struggling a lot with how to aim in this game since i never played a game like this where you, the aiming system was just completely different from any other game i played I finally realized from playing the practice mode that my aim had been too low for most of the games and my sprays would just be straight down on the ground and I would be like how did I not kill him but looking back at it my aim was just too low but that is how I was used to aiming for many other games so then I started to get better after adjusting how I aim and I actually saw some improvement really quick in my aiming. So my conclusion of the game from playing it from one day is so far I really enjoy what I've been playing in Escape from Tiger. It's a steep learning curve but I'm down for the challenge and hopefully if I get too confused my chat can help me out. Currently my two main problems with the game is that you have to wait so much when you die for your characters to heal back up. But the practice mode does make the time go way faster so I'm glad I figured that out so early. I also wish that you had a map in game so you didn't have to pull it up on the second screen or tap out of the game to then tap back in constantly to try and figure out where you are on the map while bullets are always flying around you in the air so you gotta be careful. And last but not least would I recommend this game and right now I definitely would recommend this game if you have someone to learn it with or someone to teach you how to play the game. I think going into this game alone can be very tough because the game shows zero mercy, you get zero tutorials, no information about how to play the game, you just get thrown into it. So if you're considering getting it alone, I don't think you shouldn't get it, I just think that you gotta prepare yourself a lot for learning and tons of deaths and waiting times for your characters to heal back up. But if you're down for that challenge, then I would definitely suggest that you get the game because this game has been really fun so far and I can't wait to see what kind of future things I'll discover because I'm definitely not planning to stop anytime soon. Yo guys, here at the end, I just wanna ask you, did you enjoy this kind of video? Because it's a video I never really done before. I never done a video and voicing over it. If you did, please let me know in the comments because I could definitely use some feedback on something I never done before. And if you wanna see more, please let me know. I could continue this journey of learning escape from taco if this is interesting but if it's not i'll find something else to do peace out guys and have a good life <laughs>